I remember when I was five years old, you know, um, stood looking through the window at my dad's car and I, I took the keys off my father, I'd go sit in the driver's seat for hours and hours and just have this vision that I'm driving. Like I said to you, as a childhood dream, I mean, a childhood I'm talking about, a, a young boy who really didn't have anything, you know, the, the, um, my parents and everybody in the neighbourhood were very, very poor. It was actually a quite humble, beautiful time. I studied architecture for a short while, just wanted to learn a bit about design and stuff and I thought one day I'll become a, a, an architect and design buildings, but I guess in about, a, in, in over a year I realised it wasn't for me. It didn't inspire me in any way, it didn't give me any um, hope, it didn't give me any feeling of a future. I decided to sort of take my um, take my, my hobby a bit more seriously. My hobby was actually, at that time, um, buying a car, um, customising it. Back in the um, late 80s, um, it was a, a kind of a new thing. I turned it from being what was a um, boy racer, in a way, uh, uh, to something more sophisticated. Um, and that's kind of where um, my story uh, uh, Sort of begins. Once I kind of achieved what I needed to achieve and I was good at what I was doing, designing wheels, designing accessories and parts, there's still something missing. And what was missing was, um, was to make my own car, in a way. And instead of making a car from scratch, I thought, well, the manufacturers spend a lot of money, millions and millions of pounds on powertrains and engineering. All I'm really, I, I would like to do is um, rebody and redesign it myself. This car here is my favourite car, one of my favourite cars. Um, it's an Aston Martin Vanquish. I think it's the last of the true muscle cars that Aston Martin built. There's so much form and shape around it, um, and it's generally absolutely beautiful in every way. Um, it's never kind of evolved, so I decided to take on um, an Aston Martin project. What would this car look like if it evolved? And what would it look like if I designed it? So, um, over a period of um, seven, eight years, um, I shaved up, you know, um, and I decided I'll take the journey of making my own car, rebodying a standard chassis uh, Aston Martin DB9, and rebodying it to uh, a car that I inspired off the Vanquish, um, and recreating the monster. see the muscle of the car at the rear it's got the haunches I've taken off this Aston Martin Vanquish if you look at the, the front of the vehicle that I've done it takes um, inspiration off the DV7 um, Zagato the back lights are the same um, I created a really beautiful uh, chrome halo around the car which you can see on the Vanquish follows from the front windscreen all the way to the back windscreen and follows back up again so I took lots of these ideas from from these cars um, and, and, and create something very animalistic looking. I wanted to create something a bit more uh, beastly looking. When you want to be sat on a steering wheel of a machine like that, you want to feel powerful. It wants to feel like you've, you're dressed in this amazing um, armoured suit. You know? um, we all want to be Iron Man.
Vanquish is an amazing name, so I, I, I thought about it. V for Vanquish, V for Virage, V for Volante. You know, Aston Martin have all these V names. So what was the V name that I could think of that would work well with this new machine that I was going to build? And the name that sort of came to my mind um, was Vengeance. I based it on paying homage, really, to a lot of the Aston Martin history. It's almost like it's been created, it was meant to be. I think it's just, it's just another level, yeah.